Order of operations. Mathematicians decided at some point that they needed an agreed upon order in which to simplify expressions. That way, regardless of who was doing the simplification, everyone would get the same answer. Um, we have a acronym for this process, which we call PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear aunt Sally. The P stands for parenthesis, E for exponents, M for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. With one major note here. Multiplication division is done as a unit from left to right, as is addition subtraction. So let's look at an example. Simplify one plus parentheses, nine minus three, quantity squared minus three. So when I'm looking at this process, this problem, I'm looking at and I'm asking myself, well, do I have any parentheses and can I simplify anything in the parentheses? And in this case, yes, I do have parentheses. Right here, I have parentheses with nine minus three. So I'm gonna simplify that first. I then double check to see if I have any other parentheses, which I don't. And so I move on to the next step, which is exponents. In this case, I do have an exponent. I have a squared right here. Remember, squared means to multiply by itself. So I have one plus six squared, meaning six times six, so that's 36 minus three. I then look at this problem and I say, well, do I have any multiplication division? And I don't, so I move right down to the addition subtraction. Remembering, of course, that I'm gonna do my problem from left to right. So I start at my leftmost and I do the one plus 36 first. And then I continue with going from left to right and I end up with 34. One important thing to note here is that as I am working the problem down, the only part that changes is the part that I'm actually simplifying. The parentheses, then the exponents, then the multiplication division, and then addition subtraction. So you'll notice that the one stays a one, the three stays a three, and that that stays the case until I actually do some simplifying. Um, so in this case, the three, the minus three stays all the way until the second to last step. Um, let's look at a second example. Simplify three squared divided by three minus four times two. So again, I start asking myself, well, do I have any parentheses? And can I simplify inside those parentheses? In this case, I have no parentheses, so there's nothing to simplify. I move on to exponents. In this case, I do have an exponent. Again, um, that exponent is a squared. So I simplify that and I get nine divided by three minus four times two. And again, you can see that the three stayed and the minus four stayed and the times two stayed the same. Only the three squared got simplified. So now I look at this problem and I say, well, do I have any multiplication or division? 
And I do, I have it in two spots. I have division happening right here and multiplication happening right here. So I'm gonna work the problem again from left to right. So the first division or multiplication is nine divided by three. That gets me three. I still have my minus four and I still have my times two. So again, that minus four stays, that times two stays. Now a common mistake at this point is to try to simplify the three minus four first. But remember, we are not done with multiplication division yet. We still have this multiplication happening right here. So I'm gonna to need to simplify the minus four or negative four times two next. Well, that's negative eight. And again, we can see that our three, in this case, it wasn't a three from the original problem, but at this point, we didn't simplify anything with the three, so it simply came straight down. And now that all my multiplication division is taken care of, I take care of any addition and subtraction. Here I have 3 minus 8, which is negative 5.